Today, I would like to talk to you about abnormal pap smear, what are the abnormal pap smear results, and what to do with them. There are four major abnormal pap smear results. Uh, these are pathologic diagnoses, uh, they see on a report. The first one is something called ASCOS, A-S-C-U-S. Uh, it stands for atypical squamous cell of undetermined significance. Uh, if somebody has this abnormal pap smear ASCOS, we usually do HPV test on them, uh, check for uh, HPV virus. If it's negative, nothing, no further management is necessary. If it's positive, then we go further and do something called, called poscopy, which is a biopsy of cervix. Uh, the other levels is level 1 or CIN1, level 2 or CIN2, or level 3 and CIN3. These are different abnormal cells and the higher number is more precancerous. Uh, sometimes also people use a different category called high grade and low grade uh, lesion or high grade SIL and low grade SIL. Pretty much CIN1 and 2 goes as a low grade and CIN T goes as a high grade. Uh, the management for uh, these, if uh, after the biopsy is confirmed, for a low grade usually is uh, just a follow-up uh, uh, pap smear uh, because most of them they go back to normal by themselves. Occasionally some physician might recommend laser or freezing. But for CIN 2 and 3, uh, which are precancerous, I do recommend uh, after being confirmed by corposcopy to do something called a lip procedure. This is what's recommended. LEAP is stands L-E-E-P, uh, which is a procedure done usually in the hospital, and very is a big biopsy of the tip of the cervix, about one centimeter thick, and that will give us a diagnosis and also cure the problem. Uh, after a LEAP procedure, usually you need another pap smear or follow-up in three to six months.